Hi, I'm Chad from Ultimate Automotive. For over 19 years, we've been building relationships on a foundation of stability and trust. Looking out for our customers because you are our family. Upfront pricing and great service, that's what you can expect from us with convenient east and west side locations. Police are looking for a driver who ran over a man in Sioux Falls overnight. What police are saying about this troubling case of road rage. Plus, we're just racers. Everybody out here just loves racing, you know what I mean? Social distancing drivers take part in a sprint car race in South Dakota. What pandemic precautions they took ahead of the green flag. Good morning. This is Keller Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. But first, Let's check in with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry. Good morning, everybody, as well. We are off to a quiet, cool start to the day, but we do rebound nicely through the afternoon, and it helps when we have beautiful scenes like this over Sioux Falls. Blue skies all around 42 right now with a calm breeze in place, and we're going to continue to warm up quite nicely. 44 right now in Mitchell, 43 here on 39 Pier, Aberdeen 38, 39 also in Rapid City, a couple of locations already off to a fast start with that warm up, including winter in Pine Ridge at 48 and 50, respectively. It's also a calm start to the day throughout much of Kelloland, with a few exceptions out to our faith in Pine Ridge. But either way, it's a great start to the day, especially considering what we had to deal with on Saturday. Much of the day today is dry. We do have a few returns on satellite and radar in northwestern parts of Kelloland, but that's going to be an exception to the overall rule. Later this evening, however, uh, parts of Kelloland could see some rain. And then later in the extended forecast, it's a more widespread chance. Details on all of that and more coming up. All right. Thank you very much, Adam. A case of road rage in Sioux Falls ended with a victim being run over by a car. It happened last night near 10th and Elmwood, where two men got into a fight. Police say the suspect knocked down the victim, who was lying on the street at the time. Police say the suspect then ran over the victim as he drove away. Police say the driver also dragged the victim's girlfriend a short distance after she tried to take the keys out of his car. Police say the victim has serious but non-life-threatening injuries, including broken bones. His girlfriend was not hurt. Police say it all started earlier in the evening when the suspect cut the victim off in traffic near 12th and Western. Police are looking for a black man who is driving a brown or orange Honda. The races went on at Park Jefferson International Speedway last night, but without the fans. The track hosted two sprint car races to kick off the season. Organizers sold 700 tickets to the event, but after Governor Christy Nome raised social distancing concerns last week, the track decided not to allow any fans into the stands. Pandemic precautions at the track included parking the sprint cars 10 feet apart and urging everyone on the grounds to wear masks. Fans could watch the races online, but streaming glitches and rain delayed the start of the races. Well, despite Saturday's rain, people gathered around the All Saints neighborhood in central Sioux Falls to listen to some music at a safe distance. Eight musicians set up front lawns and uh, porches to play music for people passing by. Guitars, voices, and violins fill the neighborhood to bring some joy and togetherness for all the people who attended. I know dark clouds, gather me. People attending the concert say it was a reminder of how resilient the community is. Well, this is the time of year when Kelloland College seniors will be looking forward to walking across the stage to receive their diplomas. But the COVID-19 pandemic has put ceremonies like commencement in academic jeopardy. While school activities have been going virtual, seniors acknowledge that something's lost when you can't take part in graduation in person with your classmates. Find out how one member of the class of 2020 is making the adjustment tonight in I on Kelloland at 10. Adam? Well, again, we just have a little bit of cloud cover to deal with in northwestern and northern parts of Kelloland and a few very isolated sprinkles trying to make their presence known. But with a decent amount of dry air at the surface, little of any of that is actually making its way to the ground. Beyond that, it's a great start to the second half of the weekend, especially if you're East River with a decent amount of sunshine. The one little hiccup has been some patchy fog out there, but even that will burn off and give way to a very nice rest of your day. But here we go through future casting. You're going to see a a little bit of rain try and clip the region in northern and northeastern parts of Kelloland with a little disturbance in North Dakota that tries to make its presence known here. So we do have that chance for some scattered showers, at least there. 
Much of Monday is dry again, especially East River. But watch what happens in western Kelo land. We start to see those showers and thunderstorms develop toward the evening and then overnight racing eastward across the river and eventually into eastern Kelo land through Tuesday morning. Now that's round one of two that we're going to be watching in terms of unsettled weather as we have another little line that will develop of showers and thunderstorms rather for Tuesday afternoon and evening. Now the showers that we're watching through the night tonight into Monday morning really aren't going to amount to much, if anything, in northeastern Kelloland. Rather, uh, the better chance for rainfall is going to come around Tuesday and especially again in northeastern Kelloland where we could see upward of a quarter to a half an inch of rainfall. Through the rest of your day today, however, we are looking pretty nice with temperatures in the low to mid 70s and a generally light and variable wind. Much of Kelloland is dry tonight, but northeastern parts of South Dakota may see some scattered shower activity before you get ready for a Great day on Monday, especially if you're in eastern and east central Kelloland. Central and western parts of the area, however, will start off dry, but then with increasing cloudiness, that's just going to be the leading edge of rainfall that builds in Monday evening and then going into the overnight time frame. Showers and thunderstorms not out of the question on Tuesday, a breezy but seasonable day on Wednesday, and then we have a great end of the work week on the way as we close the month of April and then welcome the month of May with seasonably warm temperatures. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.